Welcome again everyone. This is Jim from 100th Monkey Mushrooms. In this video, I want to show you how you can use our Elm Oyster Garden Kit to grow mushrooms on totem logs. Now, the first step of course is choosing your log. You want to choose a hardwood log that is anywhere from 6 inches in diameter to 12 inches in diameter. This log that we're going to do today, this one is about 8 inches in diameter. This is perfect size. Now, uh, a lot of people ask us, where do I find a log like that? The easiest place I would say is watch the tree trimmers that are in your immediate area. But you want it to be freshly cut and off of a live uh, old tree or, or, or limb. You don't want to take one that's been dead or diseased because obviously there's another fungus that's already living in there. Also, you want to be sure that the surface is 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 intact, that the bark is intact, there's no scars or scrapes, um, and it's it's nice and healthy. But you don't want to use pine, cedar, cypress, so find what's locally available, easy for you to get, um, hardwoods. When you have your log, you then want to have it cut into sections, anywhere from 6 inches to 12 inches long. These are about 8 inches long, and you can do two to three sections. This one we're just going to do two. So before I start anything, what I prefer to do is to drill a 45 degree angle into this log so that I can screw this when I'm finished down to this one so it stays stable. Now when I remove the contents of my kit, the entire spawn bag, I don't want to empty the whole thing into a bucket like as I did in previous kits. I just want to take open the top and take just a, a small amount off the top because with this size spawn bag from our garden kit I can do about six to eight of this of logs this size. And I'm going to start with my log upside down. Now this is the top here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to start with the bottom. And what I'm going to do with the bottom is I'm going to spread about a half inch of the spawn across the top. And once I've covered the entire surface area with about a half inch of the spawn, I'm going to take a wet piece of newspaper and I'm going to make a little hat to hold this down, a large rubber band to hold this in place. Okay, so remember this is the bottom. So I'm going to turn my log back over. And again, I have my lines to remind me where this lines up. And I'm going to do the middle section the same way that I did the top. Okay, I can still see my line here. I'm going to line it up with my line. Now you can see my log is very, very stable and I don't have to worry about it coming off. And I'm simply going to repeat the process for the top. I have another piece of wet newspaper to make the cap for the top to hold the spawn down to keep it moist. And that's the totem log. After I inoculated my totem log, I'm going to place it in a large dark trash bag. To keep the bag from coming off, I'm going to loosely wrap it and leave an opening about the size of a golf ball. So once you have your log in your bag, you're going to leave it on there for three months. And that's going to do two things. It's going to, the bag is going to hold in the moisture. Second, it's going to create a high CO2 level, which is going to cause the mycelium to grow rapidly. And I'm going to show you uh, one week's growth also, after you have your log inoculated, you want to be sure that you store it in a warm place. And by that, I mean anywhere above uh, 50 degrees. We are in springtime now and it's warm enough. This is it's going to be its permanent uh, place. If, it's, if you're not in the warm part of the year, you can store it in a basement or a barn, somewhere warm for those first three months. Now, after that first three months, you can put it into its permanent place. By then, the mycelium is established it can handle cold when if, it, if you're in a winter area it's going to go dormant um, but be sure that you store it up off the ground this one is up on a uh, on a brick 
so it doesn't have to compete as much with the, the native fungi. After that initial three months, I'm going to take my log and I'm going to soak it once a month. That's to maintain the moisture in there. Uh, if it's outdoor and you're getting a lot of rain, you can skip that step. But if you are not, a simple soak overnight, put it back in its spot. And then after the mycelium is established, generally from six months to a year, that's when it'll start its production of mushrooms. Now, even though we've done everything to optimize our chances of growing elm oysters off of our totem log, there is a slight possibility that some other native species could possibly grow out of that log. And just like anything else that you're going to consume from nature, be 100% sure that it is safe to eat. Thank you for watching and be sure to view our other videos on how you can also use your garden kit to grow in your own container on your own substrate and in garden beds.